Hey Giordanos, we're going to try to learn something new today. I did hijack Veronica from behind her Nintendo Switch. Veronica, what you were playing? Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. You cannot make this up. Uh, guys, I want to demonstrate to you, hopefully with the help of, from Veronica, a rapid target engagement technique for the PSL 54 SVD uh, style uh, rifles. What we got right now, the elevation turret is set for the 100 yards in our case because we did zero the rifle at 100 yards and we're not going to touch the elevation turret and we're going to try, try to own the field from zero to 500 yards without touching that turret and using the 7.62 by 54R as advantage uh, to our shooting technique. So, Veronica, listen to me carefully. I know you did not practice this, so just listen to directions and try to follow it, okay? All right. Also remember, we do have some wind down the range, okay? So we'll watch out for that. But we are starting at 100 yards. At 100 yards, all I want you to do is to put the tip of the chevron in your reticle, in the middle of your reticle, on the tip of the triangle at that if six size target at 100 yards. Can you do that? Yes, I All can. All right, let's see. I'm watching, okay? Take your time, do not rush the shots. This is for a demonstration. This is not the sprint right now, okay? Boy, that shot went to the right side. Did you pull it a little bit? Possibly. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take it. But watch that trigger work, okay? Yes. Now, Veronica, listen to me. We're moving to the 200 yards target, okay? 200 yards target at the 200 yards because this is 7.62 by 54R, we are still going to aim for the tip of the right uh, red triangle. We should be on target, okay? All right. Can you do that? Yes, Let's I do can. It. I'm moving to the 200 yards. Let me check with Ola if she don't shoot yet. Let I know, me I'm check. Okay, are we, are we good on the target camera? Okay, target camera is good. Veronica, target is all yours. Wow, that in the center. That's the way I like how you shoot, okay? So, staying focused, beautiful hit. We hit right dead in the center. Where did you break the shot? So, the, where was the chevron in reticle in relationship to the uh, red triangle? Well, I was, of course, aiming at the top of the triangle, but just, I would say, two inches to the left. Okay. That's all you have to aim. Yeah, because of the wind. You adjust it a little bit for the wind. And we hit the bullet dropped a little bit, not that much, but that's perfectly fine for the 200 yards. So from zero to 200 yards, guys, we are still perfectly fine by aiming more or less in the center of the body of the mess. And you will be right there in that zone. Because again, this is 7.62 by 54 R and that round shoots and uh, goes really really well now let me check with target camera are we good for the 300 okay we are good for the 300 yards veronica the 300 is a little bit farther away right we still going to use the chevron in the middle of the reticle but right now i want i want you to visualize on that ipsic size target the nose okay like nose area aim into that nose area and we'll see where the bullet is going to drop yes sir you understand the directions yes sir all right i'm moving to the 300 as well i'm ready i'm watching the 300 yards target All right, beautiful. So we have some wind that shift to the right. There is a wind, uh, I, it's coming across the field. You guys may not see it in the camera, but the elevation wise will perfect, will right 
close to the top of the triangle. Where was exactly your hold when you pulled the trigger? Uh, right here, just so, about right here, uh, about right on the nose. On the nose, around the nose. Okay, that's that's exactly you know what I was expecting that bullet to do. So if you guys will keep that chevron on the top of the nose at 300 yards target, and we are still hitting basically the center of the body of the mess and with the scope that's extremely extremely easy to do now veronica we're going to travel to the 400 yards of target right so what happens at the 400 we are dropping more right yes. because of added distance so this time i want you to hold that tip of not the tip but the bottom legs bottom legs of the chevron in the center, I want you to hold it on the top of the head. So it will be basically, we'll do like a village head <laughs> on, the, yes. on, the, on, the, on the head, all right? And the, the, I can feel the wind is a little bit blowing, okay? So watch out for the wind. Can you do that? Yes, Let I me can. check with Ula if we are ready. Target camera is ready. So we are aiming at the 400 yards. Let me find the target in my scope. I got it as well. All right. Ha, that's a beautiful hit. You hit it literally like if you're watching Veronica the triangle, right? I don't know if you can see it in your scope. You hit it at the bottom of the triangle. So perfect shot, perfect hold. Uh, where you exactly broke the shot? Tell them. Well, of course, I had to aim at the top of the head with the bottom of the chevron. So what I did was I moved it to the left about three inches. Well, two to three. Okay. In, in your scope, it looked like two, three inches because of the wind, right? Yes. So that works for me. Uh, that was a good hold over there. You, you, literally, you landed in the, let me, yeah, you almost landed in the center. So that was a very good uh, call. And I'm not a good spotter for you because I'm not giving you a directions for <laughs> the wind. All right. Now we are going to move to 500 uh, yards and at the 500 yards, we can no longer use that chevron in the middle, okay? Because that's not enough, it's not going to help us. However, we do have the chevron just below or second from the top in the center of the reticle as well. I mean, in that line going vertical right, that's chevron, second chevron from the top. I want you to use that second chevron from the top and put it at the bottom or basically a belt buckle, like if you got the belt, you will put it at the belt buckle of the that Y size target. So we will be aiming right here, okay, at the bottom. Now you gotta watch out still for the wind because we got some wind down the range. All right, can you do that? Yes, I so, can. So second chevron, from the top and we are aiming at the bottom of the target. Let me find the 500 yards target. Let me check with Ula if she's got the target camera ready. All right. And Ula is protecting the target camera because of the wind. Hopefully it won't shake much. Okay, let's see what we can do there, okay? Yeah, basically I would keep on the left edge of the target, Veronica, because there is some wind, okay? Mm -hmm. Boom! Outstanding hit right next to the right side of the triangle from your point of view, but elevation, you are dead in the center. Outstanding shooting, fist up. All right, guys, so there you go. Veronica just demonstrated to you how we can dominate from zero to 500 yards without ever touching the elevation to that and uh, basically go through the distances and own that range. So again, tell them what you did for the 500 yards target. I just aimed with that second chevron at the bottom left corner of that target. And the bottom left corner was because of our wind down the field. 
so in the middle of the field we got some wind i'm not sure if the target camera will uh, pick this up i know all i had to protect the camera from wind from shaking uh, but the adjustment for the wind was perfect the shot landed right dead almost right dead in the center of the body of the mess so outstanding shooting the proof of concept right done veronica thank you for demonstrating it outstanding job guys if you have any questions please let me know underneath of the video as always please hit the subscribe button so youtube will actually let you know that we did post the new video thank you for watching